the big thing you said yesterday was to ask them, what would it look like if you went the other direction with that? Uh-huh. Phone? What would you, if like, you said yes? Like we're struggling. I'm struggling get to, get mentally a, to flexible. get a basic telecommuting policy in place. And they're like, no, because they're going to abuse it. They're not going to work from home. And I want to say, what would it be like, and based on what you said yeah. yesterday, what would it be like, though, if it did work? Yeah, imagine, let's just imagine for a moment it was working. What would that look like? Yeah. And what would we have put in place to ensure that it's working? Yeah. And then senior leaders that I face, like in their 60s, who are so controlling and don't yeah. want to let go of They don't go, they, they don't go those are people that are that. stalled in their evolution. Yeah. Because I think if you go beyond that, you can get into your legacy work, but your evolution's not stalled. Yeah, right. And that's what I'm so fascinated about right now in this new company I joined. The leadership is frozen in fear about power over so. the people. And they brought me in because they said, I'm new to the job two months, and they brought me in because the previous HR person is all about compliance and rules and law and no heart. Yeah. And the policeman, not the lifeguard. Like, we want to be the lifeguard. Like, don't run at the pool and let's have fun. Right. Yeah. And so they were like, come in with your heart because you've got a big one. Let's Plus, you are this. wise. You are very brilliant. Thank you. You're, I'm so glad we <laughs> talked. Good. Well, I've seen you like three different places in the, the, you know, I'm the so world. I'm so glad you came like, on I today. love you. But I, I love your great. new work. And as you come in, what I think happens for a lot of those folks is they have to hold on tight because their biggest fear is being exposed as not competent. But if you haven't kept up with your skill sets over the years, you ha your only option is to resist change. Otherwise, you're going to get exposed yeah. as, as not competent. But what would be so powerful with all of those folks, especially um, if you move, if they're men, if you can move them into this, is that starting to question their thinking, like Byron Katie's work. Do you know Byron Katie's work? Yeah, the work a little bit. A little bit. But it. even getting them to question their own thinking, like, so... Um, you need to maintain power. What help me understand um, what's the, what your decision's based on? That you're not going to let this go. Well, if I let this go, this will happen. Is that true? Can you possibly know that to be true? Yeah. Who are you when you believe that? Who would you? And just see if you can't bump and get some inquiry in their lives. Yeah. Well, and that's get I them think, to stop believing everything they think. Yeah. The big thing you said yesterday was to ask them what would it look like if you went the other direction with that. Uh-huh. What would you, if like, you said yes? Like we're struggling. I'm struggling get to, get mentally a, to flexible. get a basic telecommuting policy in place. And they're like, no, because they're going to abuse it. They're not going to work from home. And I want to say, what would it be like? And based on what you said yeah. yesterday, what would it be like, though, if it did work? Yeah, imagine, let's just imagine for a moment it was working. What would that look like? Yeah. And what would we have put in place to ensure that it's working? Yeah, right? yeah. So you and a lot of our job, I love that. And a lot of our job is managing the energy of people. We don't really manage people, but we manage energy away from why we can't to how we could. Yeah. And I'm like, but what if we talked about how we could make that happen? Yeah, totally. So you gave me I a love moment, that because I was. We have a lot of it. things going on in the podcast. You listen to the No Eagle I podcast. Yet. I'm gonna do it now. because and go back to like season one and, and cherry pick as you want. But I talk to a lot of leaders who are also evolving, and they give lots of good tips too. Okay, good. I'm learning a lot. Good. So fantastic. We'll keep doing what you're doing. You're amazing. Are you a hugger? Yes. Mm -hmm. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you. <laughs>